What's up everybody, my name is Michael and welcome to Burnt. This is the very, very first video on the channel. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, it means a whole, whole lot to me. Um, just being able to, you know, get this channel up and running, off the ground, um, and to bring you guys some fantastic content. Um, you guys could be looking forward to that in the very, very near future. Speaking of events though, that is part of the reason I brought you guys along with me, because I've been a part of this community for a few months now. Um, we are actually going over to Milton, Georgia today. It's going to be a good drive, probably maybe about an hour or so. But it'll be a fun drive anyway, it's just getting there. And then once we actually get there, I'm meeting up with some buddies um, from Georgia Forerunners. Georgia Forerunners is a Facebook group, um, has about a thousand members. So it's it's insane just having, you know, a thousand people within this area that have a Forerunner that want to actually meet up and participate in trail rides and stuff. It's just phenomenal. It's a great community to be a part of. Just finished up, you know, doing suspension tires, roof rack, jack, uh, spacers, all that sort of stuff. But it's actually going to my little brother. Um, I do have a surprise coming up for you guys. You might have seen a little sneak peek of it. It's not in the you know near near future, but it's going to be coming down the line. I'm super super stoked about that. Um, can't wait to get my hands on that, and it's it's going to be a super fun adventure. Back to the Forerunner. So this Forerunner is a 2003 Forerunner SR5. It is only two wheel drive. Galactic Gray Mika um, has 32 inch tires. They're Falcon Wild Peaks. Um, Bilstein shocks all the way around. Man Emu lift springs in the front, and then just some generic spacers in the rear. I think they were just from Daystar. Is it suitable for off-roading? Like I said, yeah, it's it's decent for off-roading, but you know, with the spacers on it, with the spacer lift in the rear, it's not something that you want to be you know pounding into there every single day. And that's not the intention with this vehicle. It's just you know to give it a nice aggressive stance, aggressive look, and you know make it you know look like a forerunner how it should going to see a lot of cool forerunners today, um, hopefully including this one. Hopefully you guys will like it once I give you guys a little tour on the outside, once we get parked up, talk with the guys, etc, etc. Uh, a lot of fifth gens, a couple third gens last time. But yeah, let's go ahead and wrap up around here. The event doesn't start until 12 o'clock and it's only about 9 in the morning right now. Um, so I'm going to wrap up and get on the road.